guys so today's video i will be answering all your questions that you have sent out from my last video a few months ago the title of that video was life of an ultrasound tech here in the usa um one of them was from amy c she said here new immediate sabi from just from the sweetest intro thank you god for sending me the gift of a future husband just as sweet and thoughtful as hers thanks for sharing your day ah thank you amy and her first question was how long have you been in ultrasound so i have been in ultrasound for four years and graduated last December of 2018. So as we go along with this Q&A, I will also be going out so so that this Q&A won't be too boring. So L Braver 23, hi there. Um okay, can you speak about work related injuries as an ultrasound? Do you have a lot in your department that is out because of repetitive injuries how are you managing it how long have you been a sonographer this seems to be a subject nationally because of the prevalence of work related injuries from ultrasound i look forward to hearing your thoughts on this l braver 23 thank you for sending that questions in regards to work related injuries that's a whole um lot of topics so i'll probably make um a separate video for that but your other question is, do you have a lot in your department that is out because of repetitive injuries? The answer for that is no. Some of my workmates have like back issues and then like shoulder issues because they've been working as an ultrasound for 25 to 30 years. But however, though, when I was a student, I had this clinical in a specific hospital. That specific sonographer who taught me to do an ultrasound during my clinical days, she really harp on you know you have to be mindful on how you scan that you have to be really close to your patient don't extend your arm don't reach those are the advices that she given me which was re really helpful and now I understand the importance of it because if you do then you really have you know you will have some injuries in the future for sure if you're not careful the most common was a carpal tunnel syndrome and some people will get surgery for that one but i have not known any sort um, sonographer who got a surgery for that sometimes i'll have pain um, on my wrists but not too much but my husband bought me this wrap in your wrist to help i will show you later and that has been helpful i've been doing um, a vascular um, ultrasound in this current hospital where i'm working at sometimes i can feel a little bit of lower back pain but not like huge and because of like twisting if you do vascular and you twist like this you know repetitive twisting a lot of my workmates they do yoga as well which helps and you also have to do some stretching there's a basic stretching for sonographers out there you can search it in google um exercise help as well i'm talking about exercise but i'm not really too too good with following oh, um, no. exercising every day or whatnot i'm too tired after night shift but i'm trying at least like during my day off um, how long have you been a sonographer um for four years now um yeah so all right so let's go to the mall quick oh uh, it's really almost christmas with a christmas tree in the mall so comment from Sarah Roman, this was really informative as a new grad. Thank you for showing us your day in the life. Thank you, Sarah from Vian. Love this. I start my ultrasound tech program in January. It's gonna be a lot of hard work. Yes, it is. So just stick with it. It's gonna be worth it um, once you graduate and once you get a job. So it will get easier, especially when you're working too. It'll be it would be very interesting and worth it for sure. question from Tamaris Mora. Hi Miss Hayes. Hello Tamaris. Um, I appreciate if you could talk about the steps to becoming a sonographer in USA. I will make a separate video of that one, okay? And she said, I'm a medical doctor in Brazil. Oh my goodness. Hi oh from Brazil. Um, wow. Specialist in ultrasound. Oh wow, and I would like to know how to work as a sonographer in the USA, not as a doctor, but as a tech sonographer. Do you know any doctors from any other country who went through this process? Um, 
Tamaris, unfortunately, no. I have not known anyone who went from being a doctor to becoming an ultrasound um, technician or a medical sonographer. I do know we have a radiologist, but that's kind of different because a radiologist, we call them doctors too, but they are the one who will read our studies and make a report and they also do procedures, but we are the one who will scan first and then they will do a procedure sometimes like if they want to um, see it live in the um, ultrasound machine they will scan sometimes but they're not solely as an ultrasound tech so usually if you want to be an ultrasound um, tech here in the USA you have to go back to school and get certified it's a two years degree and then plus your clinicals and I know you can also get a bachelor's degree um, in another school but I did not choose that because I already have a bachelor's degree in commerce majoring in finance so I don't need another bachelor's degree so from Hannah Grain, when I saw your Tupperware with rice, I just knew you're Filipino. I'll be going to DMS school here in Canada and I started my entrance exam. Thank you for inspiring me and a lot of people. Aw, oh, thank you. Oh. Thank you so much. Yes, and I'm a Filipino. <laughs> From David Urbina, prepping to take my SBI in a couple months. Can't wait to start working. I hope you pass your SBI and congratulations. And looking forward for you to work too. That will be so worth it for sure. From Marie Ostique. Hi, Miss Hayes. I'm a vascular sonographer in the Philippines. I hope you don't mind sharing the steps on how you be became an ultrasound tech in the US so again I will be making a separate video on how I become an ultrasound technician here in the United States um, I'm actually looking forward to be making that because it was a very hard process when I was in school but then it was so worth it I'm so thankful that I did it because now I'm working as a medical sonographer here in our area and and it's it's still a learning process for sure because you'll be seeing different pathologies you know it's never the same so you'll be learning along the way but it's all worth it all right so from grace knowles how often are you alone and how often are you with a patient i like the idea of quiet time you all right thank you grace I'm always alone there's only one sonographer at night which is great i like working by myself how often are you with a patient? How many patients I do at night? Sometimes I do 10, 12 patients if it's really a busy night. It's great when you're working by yourself. You can develop your skills and communication skills. From Becca Starr, you and your husband are so cute. Thank you, oh. Becca. From Kiana Smith, thank you so much for this vi video. Where did you get your lunch bag? It's so cute. I was actually from Amazon. Thank you. From Zoe Martin or Zoe, did you find it hard to learn all the stuff you had to learn theory and skills? Yes, it was definitely hard, but it's all worth it. The theory, it's because it felt like we're becoming doctors, which we're not. We have to memorize the different parts of the body, um, where it connects to and all of that stuff. The skills you can learn over time because of repetitive um, scanning, so that will be easier. Um, Candice, new grad studying for my RCS. I choose cardiac sonography. Congratulations, Candice. Emily, great video. Thank you, Emily. Thank you so much. Ashley London, do programs have to be CAAHEP accredited? The school I'm going to is NACEP accredited. It's best that it's accredited, but I'm not quite sure either one. I think our school is CAAHEP accredited. From Ledet Lee. Hi Ledet from Philippines. Hello. Ate, I found your video because I'm thinking of either doing sonography or nursing. The concern is if she can find a job easily. In our area, yes, you can definitely find it easier. There are a lot of travel jobs as well, so I think it's really fine jobs here in the United States without any issue. Mabel, ultrasound. Thank you, Mabel. Um, Snow White, hello, new friend here. Thank you, Snow White from day or die i'm so glad i found you i live in augusta oh my god can you mentor me i'm in college now good luck day or die i hope i pronounce it correctly yeah there will be a lot of um, sonographers in the area that can teach you so well do well and good luck thank you 
I think that's um, pretty much it from RC. Been working for a year and about three months now at an outpatient center. And I've wondered what it was like at hospitals because most of my clinicals were at outpatient as well. This was informative. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Marcy. Good luck. And I hope you like the outpatient center. I'm curious about that too because I'm thinking maybe I'll do that in the future, but who knows. All right, guys, that's it for now. And thank you so much for all of you for sending me this nice comments, this nice questions. I absolutely did not expect i will get a great feedback from you all and i really appreciate all of you for watching my video and also for sending me all the good vibes out there i really appreciate it thank you guys mm -hmm.